Hey guys, MGH here. Welcome to another FIFA 14 video. They've just released a new features trailer in Ultimate Team for FIFA 14. Check it out now and at the end we will be discussing what we can see in this trailer and I'll be spotting out some cool little stuff that maybe you won't see the first time watching. So yeah, enjoy and I'll talk to you at the end. What's new in FAT 14? This year uh, we brought in a lot of uh, new features that the community is going to be really excited about. Um, top of my list, the chemistry changes. Chemistry styles dictate how your players play on the pitch. With this squad, I want my striker to hold up the ball and make passes to my wingers as they cut in on the attack. To accomplish this, I apply the powerhouse style to my striker, which enables him to hold up the ball with shielding and improves his passing. I apply the sniper style to my wingers, improving their dribbling and shooting attributes. The same squad can attack in a completely different way by changing up the chemistry styles. By applying a new style to the fullbacks, they have added pace, dribbling, passing, and this enables them to press forward and help in the attack. I'll improve my striker's heading while applying passing and defensive styles to my wingers to cover for the fullbacks attacking press. This year we've been able to bring a lot of really highly requested features to the game that have come from our community. We give you new options to find players more efficiently, so now you can finally switch by name. You also have the option to directly search from the squad screen. If you have a specific hole in your squad, you can go straight to the transfer market and back to your squad screen. Fans of FUT13 told us just how much they missed the single online match. For FUT14, we're really excited to be able to bring that back to the game. Another big request was to add further customization to your squad. Rather than relying on an algorithm that determines what uh, kit numbers your players have or who's the best kick taker for a left corner kick, you can actually now go in there and customize that yourself. We've extended FUT seasons from five divisions to ten. It's going to be a lot harder to get to Division 1 than it was in the past. Start FIFA 14 Ultimate Team on your Xbox 360 or PS3 and bring your roster, items, coins, trophies, and divisions with you. There's a one-time opportunity to transfer your FIFA points between Xbox 360 and Xbox One, or between PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. Stay tuned. This is by far not all the features we have uh, for FUT 14. There's more news coming your way pretty soon. All right, guys, pretty awesome, right? I'm not going to lie. I've got to say I'm pretty impressed with what EA have done with this game. Um, and for what we can see in this trailer, it's looking pretty awesome. Ultimate Team looks like it's completely revamped. It looks completely new. The new menu is gorgeous, if you ask me. And some key features that they've implemented are going to make the experience so much better. So let's walk through some screenshots that I've got here. Little things that I've picked up on in the, uh, in the trailer itself. And we'll talk through them one by one. So one of the first things you see in the trailer is the new chemistry styles. You can see the list of them there. One of them being the powerhouse. That's the one that is uh, is selected there. These are cards, or I don't know what they're going to call them. I think they're just chemistry, chemistry cards, possibly. You will apply them to your players to increase certain stats. And uh, you'll see in the next few images what those stats um, will be. So basically, I'm guessing you'll be able to buy these or get them in packs, obviously. And um, it's going to really, really improve your players. So, for example, if you've got a certain midfielder you want to improve his passing, you then give him the chemistry style card that improves passing. Little things like that. And also, one th little thing I noticed here is on the right, you've got a non-rare one. And the others seem to be rare. So, obviously, there are non-rare and rare chemistry styles. And in this screenshot, you can see he has actually applied the powerhouse chemistry style. And that has, in turn, increased his defense and his passing. Just imagine the unique combinations we can actually use here with our players. Our teams are going to be so unique. And one key thing I can take from that is that us YouTubers who, you know, I, I'm not, I can't really say me, but lots of people who do Ultimate Team are going to have a lot more fun building these unique teams and squad builders and things like that with the ability to change every single player in your team. The way they play is going to be awesome. So here we're in the Apply Consumable menu. We've got Ashley Cole there, who I'm, I'm not sure will still be 84, but we'll see. We'll still see. Uh, we'll soon find out. You can see there we've got contracts, we've got fitness, we've got healing. So injury cards, I'm guessing, will be actually used in this game. You've got positioning there, and you've got chemistry style down on the right. So it's just good to see what kind of menu stuff we've got in the uh, the mini menus, and also just the design. Don't you think it looks smart? I really like it. So there you can see online seasons are now 10 divisions. We have gone through this before. It's not just five now. It is 10 divisions. And they did say in the trailer that it's going to be much harder to get to Division 1. And uh, hopefully they have upgraded or improved the, uh, the matchmaking system. So you're playing against other people in the same division as you. But either way, just the fact there are 10 divisions is going to make it longer and harder to get to the top. Well, 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 what do we have here, guys? Look in the bottom left. We have an inform player. So it's not completely black. They've kind of made a gradient from black to the uh, original um, rare gold color. Not 
I don't think it's a non-rare gold colour, but um, yeah, that, that is looking very smart, I must say so myself. And they have the original Team of the Week tile at the bottom left there with the new sign on it. So uh, Team of the Week shall be returning absolutely in FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. You'll be buying more packs than ever before, which I'm sure they'll be happy about. But that looks great. I'm really interested to see how um, other special informed cards are going to look, especially Team of the Year. It will be that blue to gold, I'm sure. Um, with the same kind of gradient but also you can see on the right there online single matches have also also returned guys so you don't have to worry if you if you don't feel very competitive or you don't want to play competitively you can just go ahead and play an online single match which is what they reduce which they took away from you in uh, in fifa 13 was it was such a shame that so here we've got another menu here we can see player name you can search there you've got consumables club items and your staff you've got quality position chemistry style nationality league there's so many different things you can search through and uh, it's looking really neat. It just looks so much smoother, doesn't it? It looks like a proper menu now, not glitchy and horrible. Hopefully it won't be laggy, but there's new search options as well, which we'll get to very soon. So when, you, um, when you've when you made your team, guys, you're actually going to be able to adjust the player roles, just like you can in career mode or other games. You're able to you know, decide who takes the left, the right corner, who takes short free kicks, long free kicks, penalties, and also select your captain. Or right at the bottom there, you can auto-assign player roles. I'm guessing that means the best players with the best stats will actually be put into certain set pieces. But I just think it's really cool that finally now we can adjust the captain and who takes what. Have you got a team in Ultimate Team right now where the goalkeeper takes the free kicks every time or, or, the, or the corners and you have to constantly switch. It's very frustrating. You can you can stop it. You can go into the menu during the game and switch player roles. But now you'll be able to do it before you actually start any matches. And here is what I've been waiting for, guys. I was so excited when they revealed this. We are now able to search player names. So when you're looking for a certain player, you do not have to spend 10 minutes searching through pages and pages. You will be able to search for their name. Now, there are negatives and positives of this. Obviously, it's going to be easier for us to find players. But if it's easier for us to find players, it's easier to price lock players. And I'm guessing that people who, you know, love to trade, they don't even play the game uh, in terms of actually playing matches. They just like to play the market and enjoy trading and making money. They're going to enjoy this a lot because they will price fix the shit out of players just by searching name. It's just going to make it a lot easier. Um, so not necessarily more of it, but I'm guessing that this could be a slight problem in terms of people price fixing but we'll soon find out I, i'm still glad it's there i think it's, it's absolutely amazing that we're going to be able to uh to just search for a player i mean you can see the list there that's popped up you know you, you just put in ba and you get bastion spine striker you get bail so it's first name and second name i think it's awesome so not only that they did also say when you're in your squad menu so you're looking at your team you can actually when you go into the menu to add a player into an empty slot or you know swap a player you're actually able to go to the bottom and search transfer market straight from there and then once you've bought that player or you've just had a little look around you can then back out and it will take you straight back to your squad now this is something i was talking about in the last fifa 14 video i did i hate the fact that everything feels so separated in ultimate team once you're in your squad you're in your squad you can't do anything else you then have to back out and go into a new menu it seems kind of I don't know, a bit ancient, you know, most games don't do that these days and what they've done here is fantastic. They've basically made it feel like all one big game, one big game mode, you know, and it's not just separated into chunks. You're able to actually buy players straight from your squad menu, which makes a huge difference. And the last thing I picked up on the in the trailer there was the squad actions menu here. You've got create new squad, you've got squad, squad selector and squad builder, it's all the same. Apply team training. Obviously, there is no formation or morale cards now, so we'll find out what's in the team training soon. You've got player roles, kit numbers. We're able to adjust the numbers on our team. And also, you can share squad with friends straight from your menu, which I think is really cool. But hopefully, you've enjoyed this video, guys. I wanted to get this out today. I think there's some really cool information, um, and it's, it's exciting. What can I say? Ultimate Team is looking pretty good this year. I'm very excited to play it, and I'm sure you are too. So let me know. Have you pre-ordered it, or are you waiting? And I will see you next time, guys.